हेलो एवरीवन सो वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज सबनेटिंग सो बेसिकली इन सबनेटिंग वी स्प्लिट अ लार्ज नेटवर्क इनटू अ स्मॉल ग्रुप ऑफ नेटवर्क्स और सबनेट ओके एंड व्हाट आर द एडवांटेज ऑफ सबनेटिंग इज इट रिड्यूस द ट्रैफिक इट ऑप्टिमाइज द परफॉर्मेंस बिकॉज फॉर नाउ यू हैव टू वर्क फॉर द लेसर नंबर ऑफ यूजर्स इट सिंप्लीफाई द मैनेजमेंट एंड द trouble shooting will also be easy the bandwidth utilization will also be decreased and also it facilitate the spanning of large geographical distances right so if i talk about why we need the subnetting the question here is that why do we need the subnetting because we have three classes of ip address that is class a ip address class b and class c in you in that you can see that class a has 256 number of host in class b we have 6553 number 36 number of host and in class c we have 16 million of host and that all are fixed that is means if you need two ip address you have to provide 256 ip in which you will waste 254 ip addresses likewise if you need four ip address you have to provide 256 ip addresses if you need 60 ip addresses you need you have to provide 256 ip address and there is a wastage of 196 basically not 296 that is means for any ip address like i need five ip address if i will allot a class c network then i have to provide 256 ip address and there will be a wastage of 251 ip addresses if i need 11 ip address i will have to provide 256 ip address and dear here we have a wastage of 245 ip addresses like i need 60 ip address in that case we have to provide 256 ip and you can see that every time we are providing a fixed value of 256 ip addresses in case of class c if i am using class c network so that is not good for a network to provide that much excess number of ip addresses likewise in class b what's going on that number of host is 65536 that is means if you have any value above 255 to 65536 in between 255 to 65536 you have to provide 65536 ip addresses like i need 500 ip addresses so in case of 500 ip addresses you have to provide 65536 ip so these were the issues we faced when we didn't have any subnetting without subnetting these issues will be there you need 1000 ip address you have to provide 65536 ip you need 2000 ip address you have to provide 6553 ip address that is means a fixed values were there to provide in class b likewise in class c the there must be a fixed value of 16 million you have to provide at once if you want to provide class c networks so dear in that case there is a big loss of ip addresses every time let's take an example like you have to provide 60 ip addresses and i am selecting a random network 192.168.1.0 in that case what will happen first ip allotted will be 192.168.1.0 and the first valid ip will be 192.168.1.1 192.168.1.2 and an ip address will be there 192.168.1.60 so 60 ip address will be allotted till then but as we have selected a class c network completely so we have to provide 256 ip in which these will be our usable ip and these will be our wastage of 194 ip address and we have to save this wastage at any cost so how you can save this wastage so dear 
how we can save this waste tail let me tell you you have to do class c class b or class a subnetting what we have to do we have to do the subnetting of class a class b or class c now how we will divide the network first of all if i talk about a class c network or class c ip format the format is what first octet is fixed for the network right and second octet is also fixed for the network and third octet is also fixed for the network and remaining will be available for the host as you can see the last octet is fixed for the host if i will allot two bits from the host to the network what will happen there will be only available six bits to form the host part that is means now the maximum number of bits available can be 00111111 whenever i will convert this bits into the normal format to decimal format it will become 60 63 so that is means now if we allot two i two bits from host bit to the network bit <coughs> what is the benefit of that that now the number of host will be decreased and there will be less number of ip address provided and lesser number of wastage will be there now we have some procedure to do that okay so now let's take some example to solve these to do the subnetting so let us assume you got an email that need how many ip address you need 60 ip addresses what 60 ip addresses so in that case how many ip address you will use first of all first of all you will take a class c network because 60 is closest to class c number of host that is 256 that i already told you okay now if i talk about class c network let us assume i have taken a private ip 192.168.0.0 this is my private ip address now what are the number of host here the number of host is 256 now we have to split these number of host into different different <coughs> segments or subnets okay let's check how we can do this first of all step number 1 find the host bit so we have a formula to calculate the host bit that is 2 power n minus 2 must be greater than or equal to required ip address so what will be the answer let's try let's uh, put some values here i will put one here first so 2 power 0 is equal to what 2 2 minus 2 will be equal to 2 so the equation will not be satisfied now i will put 2 in place of n the value will be 4 4 minus 2 will be equal to 2 so the, the equation is not satisfied again i will put 3 here 2 power 3 is equal to 8 and 8 minus 2 will be equal to what 6 right now i will try to put 4 here 2 power 4 is equal to 16 16 minus 2 is 14 so equation is still not satisfied so i will directly put 6 2 power 6 6 is 64 64 minus 2 will become 62 now the equation is satisfied number of host bit n is equal to 6 now that is means 6 bits will represent the host bits and remaining will represent the network bits now step number 2 default subnet mask to custom subnet mask now i have to convert the default subnet mask to custom subnet mask because after subnetting the subnet mask will be changed so what is the default subnet mask 255.255.255.0 this is the default subnet mask for the class c now just the processor is, is that just write the binary value in our last octet like this and 
the total number of n is equal to 6 that is means last 6 bits will become zeros because 0 represent the host bits and remaining will become 1 that will that will represent the network bits so this will be our host part host bit will be represent as 0 so as as per the previous step total number of host is 6 so we will put 6 6 zeros here and remaining will become 1 okay let's do this as per the above we will convert that Okay, so that will become 255.255.255.1100000. Six zeros will be there as per the as per the number of host bits. Okay. So what will be the subnet mask 255.255.255.192? Now step number three. What is step number three? Block size. What will be the block size? will be 2 power n that is equal to 2 power 6 that is equal to 64 dear this will be our block size now let's start allotting the ip address on the basis of this network we have to do the subnetting okay now let's allot the ip addresses in this case the first ip address will be 192.168. 0, 0. This will represent the network. Okay. Second IP address will be 192.168.0.1. But I will also put slash 26 here. This is our subnet mask. First IP address always represent the network IP address. Second IP address will be 0 0.1 slash 26. Then what will be the third IP address will be 0 0.2 slash 26. And then what will be the last IP address will be 0 0.60 uh, 62 and 192.168 0 0.63 this will be our last IP address and last IP address is used as broadcast IP we cannot use these IP address to assign in to any devices we cannot assign these IP address network and broadcast to any devices only can assign these IP address and these IP address range is called valid IP range. These are called valid IP range. Now you got an email that need how many IP addresses need 30 IP addresses. How many IP address you need 30 IP addresses. So what will be my reply that I will use a class C network because in class C there are 256 number of hosts that is near to 30 IP addresses. So class C network will be taken in as reference. The network will be 192.168.10.0. I will consider this network. Okay. Now repeat the same. The step number one is find host bit. So how you can find the host bit by putting the formula 2 power n minus 2 must be greater than or equal to what required IP address. In that case start putting the value 2 power 4. So I will directly put 2 power 4. What is the value of 2 power 4 is 16. 16 minus 2 is what 14. 14 is not, 14 is not greater than or equal to 30. So we have to increase 1 also. So 2 power 5 is equal to what? 30. So 30 is equal to 30. So that is means what is the value of host bit number of host bits equal to 5. Okay. Now find step number 2 is default subnet mask to custom subnet mask. What is the default subnet mask? The default subnet mask for class is 255.255.0. Now what will be the customized subnet mask? Just write down the last octet like this in this five values five values or five last bits will become zero and remaining will become one okay this is called representation of bits as the last five bits will represent the host bits and remaining bits will represent the network bits so the these bits become ones and 
these five bits will become zero because these are representing the host bits. So what will be the decimal value 255.255.255? So the answer will be 255.255.255.224. This will be our custom subnet mask or this can also be written as slash 27. Now what will be the block size? Step number three is what? Block size. Block size is equal to what? 2 power n. That is equal to 2 power 5. That is equal to what? 30. Now you can ask me sir where this n came from. So n came from this value. That is why I am putting 5 here. Okay. Now let's calculate the IP addresses in that case. Okay. So what will be the first IP address 192.168.10.0. This will be the network IP. First IP address represent the network. Then the first valid IP will be 192.168.10.1 slash 27. 10.2 slash 27 and last IP address will be 10. The last IP address will be 192.168.10.3030 slash 27 and 192.168.10.31. This will be our broadcast IP. What? Broadcast IP address. So this will be our broadcast IP address. So total valid IPs are how many total valid IPs are there? 32 valid IP. So you can say there is no wastage now because we are providing, uh, sorry, there are 30 valid IP will be allotted. So what is the wastage? Wastage is zero in this case. Now, wastage is zero. Okay. Okay. 